everything begins with an idea. Now believe it or not, I have quite a few ideas. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe not so good. Now the problem I have is laser focus, honing in on one idea and seeing it through, through to its completion. So with that in mind, I've got a new idea. A beef themed candle. But let's rewind and then I'll talk about what I'm planning to do next. So the goal is to create a seaside candle, something that invokes memories, nostalgia, and just good times by the sea. Um, I grew up by the seaside, and as cliche as it sounds, it's my sort of happy place. Lots of fond memories, lots of swimming in the sea, crab fishing, that kind of stuff. Um, it brings me a sense of calmness and grounding, and that's why I sort of want to invoke in a candle. So that's the idea. So the plan is to have a big candle, C-shaped wax melts on top with glitter and for it to be awesome. I know what you're thinking, I'm really good at drawing. So the idea is to do a three wick candle in a big jar like this, three wicks in sort of a triangle on top. And then we've got these cool wax melts. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, yeah. Get off my face. Yeah. Little things like that. Um, obviously, they're not going to be pink. I'm going to go for a blue, sort of shimmering thing. But that's the idea. A nice big candle like that. This is just a base, an idea of the kind of label. Obviously, not that one. I'm going to get someone on Fiverr that's done all my hand drawn clip arts to do something nice and unique. But this is the starting point, so let's make it. Right, we're now just gonna wait for the wax to melt. Then we're gonna try and find a scent. I don't think I've got anything seaside related, so we're gonna find the next best thing. But this is just a test to see how it looks aesthetically. And then we'll order the right scent, get the artwork done, and then piece together the project. So this might be um, several videos in the making, but this is gonna be the first one, just to get the idea started. Next step, the wax melts. Various different colored glitter powders in here. Problem is, as soon as you touch them, you end up with glitter everywhere. So I'm gonna be a pretty unicorn for most of the day. We're going to try adding a bit of this white Mika powder to create sort of like a nice sea, to create a nice seasidey sort of shell. So I think we're going to have several layers, so we're going to have just a plain white layer with um, a seaside scent. And then we're gonna have a very thin top layer with a little bit of blue sort of Mika powder. I think that's gonna recreate or represent the sea. And then we'll have the seashells and stuff like that on top. So we're gonna put a tiny bit of this in here and see how that turns out. We say tiny bit, it's always quite hard to get a small amount. There. But yeah, just look how cool this stuff looks. That already looks like the sea. So the plan is when that melts, it's all gonna keep moving around. The flame, the flicker, it's just gonna keep this moving around. 
So in theory, it should look like the sea. So I think it's, I think it's gonna be pretty cool, pretty excited. But yeah, it's mesmerizing. You could have watched that all day, couldn't you? Anyway, let's move on. And because seashells are all sorts of different colors, I'm gonna try and put a bit of this gold just sprinkled in the bottom. possible <laughs> but with this stuff it's very difficult maybe a little bit of lilac as well because I think sometimes more is stage three of the fingers and I'm slowly turning into a unicorn But these already look pretty cool. You can see the sort of shimmering effect you get from the Mika powder. So we're gonna let the wax melts set. We're gonna let the candle set. We'll probably give um, the blue candle wax a little microwave in a bit so we can set that on top. So we're just gonna let everything set and then we're just gonna sit back and wait. We'll probably do a bit of research and look for a seaside scent. Maybe message my graphic designer and get her to start working on the sort of custom labels. But all in all, pretty happy with what's going on so far. So yeah, not bad. Yeah, I totally forgot I needed to um, try and get my wicks to stay in place. So I've created this ingenious contraption, the Wick Master Holder 4000. If anyone wants to buy it, there'll be a link down below. But yeah, we'll give that a go and see if it sets them in some kind of orderly fashion. Note to self, must improve this for future date. Always amazes me how quickly the wax melts set, but we're gonna give it another couple of hours. I always get a bit too impatient and sometimes they get a bit stuck, but they're looking pretty good. This is our first lot of wax melts. We've got the sort of gold shimmer and the purple lilac. Don't know if the purple was a mistake, but I think it all looks pretty cool. We'll see what they look like when we put them on top of the candle once it's set and once we've got the blue layer as well. But I think they're cool. They look different. They look like they're sort of um, guy and um, like chocolates you get. They look quite inviting to eat, however, less inviting um, taste-wise. Patience is a problem now. I really want to mess with the candle and do stuff with it, but it's not quite set. So we are just going to have to wait. Hmm. Don't mess with the candle. Yeah, really happy with how that looks. It does look quite like the sea, so I think I've managed to get the color quite right with a bit of luck. Um, so yeah, well pleased. So we'll let that set, see what it looks like, and then I think we'll try and put the wax box on top of that. And then that's pretty much stage one complete. We'll give it a little burn test later. I know we should wait and let it cure, but I just want to see how the whole thing melts, really. But yeah, it is working out well. Now the top has set. It's got a lovely sort of sheen to it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up as well as my eyeballs can. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty wicked. So we're gonna try and delicately, keyword delicately, quite hard for these bloody sausage fingers of mine, um, to put the wax melts and maybe a few shells on. So yeah. Um, 
um, that's what I've gone for so far. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put any more on it or not, I don't quite know. I'm gonna probably try and put a few shells on, give it a quick heat gun to try and get them to set in a bit more. But yeah, so far I think it's looking pretty cool. Right, so that's the top. Pretty happy with that. I think when I do it properly, I'm gonna buy some little tiny shells to maybe mix it up a bit, so you get a few different sizes. But I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a quick go with a heat gun again and call it a day. So, that's it. That's what we've made. But I think pretty happy with what I've made to be honest especially for a first go with everything I had around so yeah really 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 quite happy actually um, so we're gonna let that set for a bit longer trim the wicks and then we'll try a little burn test so having all the sort of glittery bits as it'll melt will create like a mesmerizing sort of um, just a mesmerizing sort of glittery oceany kind of pattern as it all melts down i don't know whether the shells will interact with the burning um, but we'll give it a go and we'll see and then we'll um start like stage two we'll buy some sort of sea themed scents we'll get some little shells we'll have a label by then um but yeah let me go <coughs> let me know in the comments down below would you buy something like this what do you think of it and what should I name it? I've got a few names like do you want to go to the seaside or just simply calling it seaside um, but if you guys have some names that'd be quite handy um, but yeah let me know what you think I did a thing. And that's the end of the video, the end of the project. I think it's come out really well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and the process. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you buy it? What name would you give it? And if you've liked this, please subscribe and like the video. I'll see you in the next one.